Every year, Professor Chris Asper searches for a project his students can work on to help develop their skills. Professor Asper and his students talk about the project. This project started uh, with, uh, well, we were looking for uh, design intent to do it in the classroom and build it. So we thought about this kind of problem uh, face the humankind for a long time. It is the perpetual machine, uh, which people start working on this about like 1200. And, uh, they went to produce work uh, to do something to make life easy. So they start working on this machine. Basically this uh, concept is for the user to apply the motion into the object and the object itself will move um, according to the laws of physics. A lot of trial and error, especially uh, trying to uh, keep it in uh, tolerance uh, for the machine to uh, create the part itself. Then uh, we had to uh, find uh, candidates who could operate the machine and uh, uh, make sure that the quality of the product is on, uh, on standard. This project was chosen for the purpose of highlighting manufacturing methods that will not create a functional part. So the largest obstacle was selecting ways to redesign the concept such that it could be produced. Working on this project has personally taught me that a lot of decorational features and weight reduction attempts on the part pieces are completely frivolous and make it harder and more expensive to manufacture. Definitely what it takes to be an engineer, how to uh, design and fabricate, how to keep quality control, uh, making sure that uh, everything is up to spec, um, uh, definitely a lot of uh, programming and uh, design. The most important thing is that uh, students, uh, they have more freedom to design, so we increase their visualization. We make them willing to work with others in a positive way, uh, accept other people's mistakes, and work together to make it achievable. I'm definitely happy with uh, our project. We're almost uh, finished with the assembly, and uh, we'll definitely be able to uh, present it uh, once it's done. I definitely would have to thank HCC for this experience. I like to extend this experience to all our classes to, uh, to encourage the students to be able to have the freedom to design, to spend more time on design rather than on drafting, and then to be able to uh, look at the final product after they finish. It's not just putting something on paper, but also collecting data and, and build the project and see, is it gonna work or not? Like in this machine here, we built this machine like about four times, but each time we made certain mistakes and then over, overcoming those mistakes, we made it work. For more information on the engineering, drafting, and design department at HCC Southwest, point your browsers to southwest.hccs.edu, then click on departments, then click on drafting. For HCC Beat, I'm Kerry Gordon.